There's a sound that we just don't hear too much anymore. Technology has replaced this gentle, soothing noise with silence. But there's one very timely school with a mission to make sure that this sound lives on forever. And Allie Ward will explain all of this in just a second. Come on, Allie. Tick tock, tick tock. Who wants to be late when going to visit a school where they make time? Well, more specifically, they make time pieces, but still. So I got up early and hit the airport for an on-time departure to Pennsylvania, where I got to see the inner workings of watches and watchmaking at the Lidditz Watch Technicum. Inside, eyes are focused, and perfection is the goal. Herman Meyer is principal here, and he explains why there is a need for this school. There's a huge amount of watchmakers going towards retirement age, and there was a lack of new professionals entering the field. Therefore, Rolex took the initiative and founded the Lidditz Watch Technicum in 2001 in order to address the lack of qualified watch service professionals. At this school, trained professionals are bringing up the next generation of watchmakers. It is more important what they bring in on the disposition side. They need to be able to learn, they need to be flexible, they need to be able to push their limits and willing to push their limits, and they need to love what they are doing. People who buy high-end watches don't buy them to tell time. They have an emotional investment, just as watchmakers do. It's a very artistic, and also mechanical scientific field. It kind of is a great marriage of both science and art, and I was drawn to that. While they're here, every student will handcraft a watch of their own. And student Jose Vega made this work of art at the end of his first year. There's a lot of nice, really beautiful watches. You get to play with them and, you know, study them and learn them, so that's what makes it fun for me. So this is what is on the heads of That's all correct. of your students? That's the Can standard, I... yes. That's the standard loop. Can I put this on? That's, please, yes, okay. try it out. You... Oh, I can't see a thing through this. I think this one's yeah, broken. You're just diving into the other universe, in a parallel universe. <laughs> yeah. This world is very soothing. I can see why you like this yes, world yes. so much. Students are from all different backgrounds in the United States. And on average, they are 27 years old when they enter the two-year program. And before they graduate, they will log at least three and a half thousand hours of work. If you're like me, you've heard of mechanical and quartz watches, but never really knew the difference. This is probably a question that is very basic to you, but can you explain really quick the difference between a mechanical watch and a quartz watch? The mechanical watch is fully mechanical, has no electronic components. A quartz watch has a microprocessor mm -hmm. and is driven by a battery. As you might have guessed, the watches they create here are mechanical. I happened to be wearing a quartz watch. And for the record, I love my watch. Actually, what time is it? It is uh, 22. It is 11.22. Oh, I'm a minute fast. This is not a mechanical watch, though. This watch That's correct. pales in comparison to the. Do you want to switch watches forever? Mm, it's not really my style, yeah? It's... Oh, come on, I'll give you an extra five bucks. <laughs> I still cannot wear that in public. No. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> After a break, when camping got off the ground. Cool. And the lock turning your phone into a doormat. <laughs>